Hey guys, it's uh, April 7th, 2020. Rained a little bit last night, no luck with the turkeys early this morning, and I come out to <laughs> come out to the dump to do a little more investigating. And I don't know, boy, I'm, I tell you, I'm just uh, just on a lucky streak. I walked over here just down from where I found that uh, quality beverages bottle and those other pieces of old bottles yesterday. And I walked to this spot and I just hit the ground one lick. And look what I pulled out of the ground in this hole. That is an embossed new grape. I hadn't looked at the town on it or anything, but we finna pick it up and we're gonna see. Oh man, look at that. That's an awesome, awesome bottle. Let's see where it's from. If I had to guess, I bet you it's gonna be from Kosciuszko. Man, and it's not. It's actually from a Delta town. It's from Clarksdale, Mississippi. Let me see if I can get that cleaned on off a little bit. I know I'm shaking y'all around. That's about the best I can get it right now, but that's from Clarksdale. Let's see if I can find a patent date. Y'all hold on just a second. I'll come back with you. Get it. Guys, that thing has a patent date of March 9th, 1920, which is pretty cool because that's my oldest one, uh, Lake's birthday. Now, even though it's got that, I just looked when it was molded. That is from 1926. So that's actually a year older than the quality beverages I found yesterday. And Lord, you don't know how tickled I am to find that. Good Lord. I hadn't told y'all, but, well, I know I've told you repeatedly, soda bottles are my favorite. And to get, get in here and find these old ones like this, I'm telling you, it's, uh, it's pretty fulfilling. So anyway, man, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit this little spot right here. I might just got lucky and it been one. But I'm going to rake all the around in here and see what I can find. Because if I'm finding this age bracket stuff, there might be a whole Ackerman bottle in there somewhere just on the surface. So, Man, I'm tickled. Uh, and listen, I didn't get that quality beverage cleaned up and, sh and uh, show y'all yesterday, but I'll try to get this one cleaned up at the end of the video and uh, show you this one and that other one also. So anyway, y'all stay tuned with us. Guys, I semi got lucky again. Now, it's just like the quality beverages we found yesterday. It's got a crack right there. You can see right there where the main label is. It's okay. Now, around back, it's got a hole right there, but I'm going to take that one with us anyway because... I can give that to somebody and they can turn it to where you can't see that. And uh, that one is from West Point also. So two quality beverages, almost almost two that were intact in two days. And man, I found that good new grape, Lord of mercy. Let's see when this one was molded. There's a root. I think that one says 1926 also, but and my pretty bottle's cleaned up. So anyway, like I said, it's got some damage, but since it'll it'll sit up and display, my mama might want it or somebody might. So I'm gonna take it with us. It's been a good morning. Y'all stay tuned. I got time for a little more digging. Guys, I was just raking. And uh, that popped out. I can't tell if that's a debossed or embossed Dr. Pepper. I hope it's an embossed because that means it's older. But it's actually debossed. Man, that's two, that's two, two days in a row. Dr. Pepper, you can see the 10, 2, and 4 on it. See if it's got a name. No name. That's the first one I've ever found molded by Owens, Illinois. And it's from 1943. Boy, I'm on these soda bottles. That's three I found today. Of course, that one has a hole in it, but like I said, it'll still display. Whoo, man, that gets me tickled, I'm telling you. Y'all just stay with us. Um, I got just a little while longer. I'm going to rake in this little particular spot, and we're going to go. Well, guys, that's all I got time for this morning. Um, Man, it was another good morning. Seems like whenever I don't hear a turkey, I can come out here and find a good bottle. So, And when I do hear a turkey... I can't find a bottle, so there's a strong correlation there. So, you know, hey, I'm good. I'm good either way. Anyway, just to give you a quick little recap. Found another 1940s uh, debossed Dr. Pepper. Still searching for that embossed one because they're from the 30s, and uh, they actually have town names on them at the bottom right here. Uh, found this quality beverages, and like I said, you can't tell anything's wrong with it unless you turn it around, and I bet my buddy Brady's probably going to want that. And... Uh, I'm gonna text him here in just a minute and see if he see if he wants it. And I'm sure he does. 
And ladies and gentlemen, the find of the day, and this one's pretty special. I don't have this one. That's a new grape from Clarksdale, Mississippi. Uh, patent date of 1920, of March 9th, 1920. And uh, this was actually molded in 1926. And like I said, that one's pretty special because it's got my oldest one's, uh, or the patent date is my oldest one's birthday, March 9th. So uh, I'm tickled with that. Uh, I don't have enough clips for a whole video. So y'all just stay with us. I'll be back out at the dump and hopefully we'll find something else awesome. So y'all stay tuned. Hey guys, I'm back with you just to show you a little cleanup. Just uh, just want to show you the clean bottles. Um, here's the quality beverages that I found yesterday and you can tell it was pretty flawless whenever I pulled it out of the ground. It had some case wear on it, but it, it, it wasn't too hard uh, getting cleaned up. So, uh, man, that thing looks good though. And then the new grape that I found today couldn't be in any more pristine condition but I get a lot of questions uh, from people about how I clean them I just use soap and water and if they're they've got a lot of stuff in them that's stuck to them I let them soak for a little while and they sell a bottle brush kit off of uh, we I got mine on Amazon and I've got a huge bottle brush that will cover the entire area of that bottle it's pretty long so when you stick it down in there and you and you spin it around it, it's gonna catch every every uh little square inch of that bottle and, and get it pretty clean so but anyway i just wanted to show those to you and man i'm telling you i am tickled with that new grape i've been wanting to find one of these a long time and um that thing cleaned up uh pretty good so anyway um y'all stay tuned with us we'll be back at the dump and like i told you before maybe we'll find something awesome guys it's april 7th 2020 early in the morning I'm back here raking in the same spot and the suspense is killing me um i just exposed the top part of a big chief and i don't know if it's whole but let's find out together you can see it right there let's pull it oh my god and guys it's from ackerman lord of mercy Woo! Oh my lord. And it's got a little lip chip right there, but I can live with that. I can turn it that way and it'll display, but for the most part, that thing is totally, totally, totally whole. Y'all don't know how well you know, because I've been chronicling it. I've been searching hard for these. And whenever you get no spots, you just gotta keep on it. Don't matter if you don't find anything. In an hour or not, you just keep looking. And I'm going to tell you, this is one I'm going to always remember. Lord of mercy. That is a Big Chief soda. I don't know. I put some pictures of some broken ones on Facebook. Let me clean this off. You can see the Indian head right there embossed on, in the middle. It says Chief up at the top. Let me show you that again. And you Look at that. Ackerman, Mississippi. You know, I didn't hear any turkeys this morning, and uh, I started to go to some more spots. I said, you know what, it ain't that good of a day. Let me go to the dump. Maybe I'll find something good, and Lord, I'm glad I did. That's just as good as uh, hearing a goblin turkey right there. Guys, I'm tickled. Um, I don't know about the patent date on this one. I can see the mold date right there. Let me, let me look real quick. Kind of got a bruise right there. I believe that says 30. So I think that was molded uh, by the Root Glass Company in 1930. But you're talking about one happy guy right now, Lord. <laughs> I could have jumped up and down whenever I pulled that out. But when I seen the top part exposed, usually they're broke off right in here. And the bottom part's left. And when I seen that sticking out and seen this on top, I had a good feeling that it was whole. Y'all stay with me. I'm gonna keep raking in this little spot right here. You know, and it's kind of weird. I I I think that this uh, place was picked real hard uh, back years ago, and and I think they, you know, of course I've probably missed stuff too, and I think they just missed some stuff and um just left it. And luckily, I came along and I found it. Man, that that is the third awesome bottle three days in a row. 
and it's a and, and it's a good one for sure that's probably <clears throat> i could probably sell that bottle to somebody in ackerman for at least 50 to 100 dollars. that's how that's how mu much it would probably mean to some people uh in my hometown but anyway y'all stay tuned i probably talked long enough about this but i figured it was worth the time because this is what i've been searching for so now if i can find a christmas coke and an orange crush i'll have all four from the uh from the coca-cola company and then i need to find the straight side and the hutch from ackerman bottling works so i'm getting closer it's taking me a while but guys that's a day maker y'all stay tuned guys that's all the time i got today but i'm gonna tell you it was one for the books now i did i did pull out this uh it was right on top of the ground this is an embossed uh, coke doesn't have a town name um from the 50s it was right on top of the ground I found a couple blue bottles. I laid them over there, but man, I'm really not even worried about those right now. Just uh, just wanted to recap. That is a super rare bottle. That is an Ackerman Big Chief. This one was molded in 1930. The patent date is December, I think it says, December 29th, 1923. I think that's what it says. I'll have to, when I get it cleaned up, I'll, I'll let you know. And, and I'll probably come back with you and show it to you whenever I get it cleaned up. But guys, that's what I've been searching for. Uh, you know, I've, I've I've been through the ringer, finding a bunch of broken ones. And, uh, you know, I, kn I knew there, there were some out here. And, and I've got on three good spots three days in a row and found three really good bottles. And, um, of course, that new grape, y'all hadn't seen it yet, but it'll be in this upload. So I found that quality beverages from West Point, And I actually found another one yesterday with a hole in it. Um found that new grape from Clarksdale and then and then the third day in a row um found that big chief man I'm tickled I'm tickled 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 because that's uh that's pretty rare um but anyway I'll get this thing cleaned up and I'll show it to you right before uh the end of the video um and like I said I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay in this little particular area because that's where I've been finding all of them and um hopefully I will find that Christmas coke and uh, a whole orange crush. And I forgot to mention, Ackman also bottled one of these that, that's green. Uh, one of my good friends, Billy Ganan, he has one that's green and it's, it's, it's super awesome. So, uh, but y'all, <clears throat> I appreciate you uh, coming with me on this journey. You know, it's, uh, it's probably silly to some people that I come out here and do this. Um, and just tell you how I got started. I had somebody ask me yesterday had our woods mulched in front of our house and the old road or the road that's in front of my house used to be gravel and anyway i had those woods mulched and it rained a little bit and the boys and i would stay out in those woods all the time and uh it rained and we got to find an old bottles so um i was talking to mr alvin coleman at church about it about us walking and doing all that stuff because he likes to see pictures of the boys on facebook and keeps up with us and um Anyway, he, he had some land over on LaGrange Road close to the house. He said, well, Luke, I got an old dump over there. So anyway, I started taking the boys. We kind of fell in love with it. And of course, I kept a lot of stuff then that I don't keep now, but uh, that kind of got us started. And um, man, I've, I've just fell in love with it. So, you know, I <clears throat> a lot of people reach out to me um, whenever I post pictures or do these videos about about how, how much they enjoy it. And uh, it really, I really get a kick out of it, and I really get a kick out out of people getting fulfillment out of it. So I just appreciate you staying with me. And look, uh, hopefully more videos will come, and I'll find some more awesome stuff. So I'm going to show you the cleanup of this uh, bottle a little later on, so just stay with us. Hey, while I'm walking, I figured I'd tell you this. There's kind of a, a inverse relationship or a correlation, so to speak, between turkeys and old bottles with me. <clears throat> it seems like... If I hear a turkey gobble, and then I come to the dump, I don't find a good bottle. But if I don't hear a turkey gobble, and I come to the dump, I find an awesome bottle, and it's pretty cool, because uh, I win either way. So anyway, I just thought I'd share that with you. Well guys, there it is, cleaned up. And uh, it looks better now, even than it did whenever I pulled it out of the ground, and I couldn't be any more tickled with it. See that cool embossed ending on uh, both sides right there. Now it's got a few nicks and stuff in it. You can see right there at the bottom. But overall, it's still a great find. And right there you see it says big. And on the other side, it's got the chief right there. 
and there's the little small lip chip that's right there but like I said you can turn that thing and uh, it'll still display even even if it would have been worse than that I still would have kept it so I was thinking about it now that uh that patent date right there and you probably can't make that out that's December the 20th 1925 and like I told you this particular bottle was molded in 1930 so uh, this is actually the uh, the first Ackerman bottle that I personally found now Father's Day last year uh, we went creek walking and uh, Hart actually stumbled upon a 1915 uh, in the creek so he found that one so I've been there when two of them have been found but this is the first one I personally found so I hope it's not the last one and uh, man I'm I'm just tickled I got to share this with everybody so anyway y'all just stay with us um stay tuned for the next video we appreciate you watching go like and subscribe to the jones boys